Hey, this is part one of three. We're gonna do a pH media test. Um, so, these back three buckets are tap water. These front three buckets are rainwater. We're gonna test to make sure that each of these rows is about the same, and then we're gonna do add the media, and we're gonna test the pH values after the media sits in them. So, there we go, 8.0. Okay, so tap water is about eight. Okay, seven, five. Seven five. Seven five. For consistency. Seven point eight. Okay. So seven point five average on the rainwater, seven point eight average on the top water. Alright, one hour later, <clears throat> we have bulk lava rock from my yard supply store. We have commercial lava rock from Home Depot. We have our straight water and we have our tap and we have our rainwater row. So let's get our testing done. We got a 7.4 on our tap. <clears throat> we got a 7.7 .7 on our commercial lava rock. We got a 7.7 .7 on our bulk lava rock. Interesting. I'm now reading 7.8 here. Seven six. Seven three. We're getting a seven two. Seven six. Seven six. Seven four. Seven four. Seven four. And seven four. Okay, so nothing conclusive yet. Okay, we are one day later. We have the three tap waters, which we're reading at about 7.8. We have the three rain waters, which are reading about 7.5. We have still water. We have commercial lava rock. We have bulk lava rock. So let's see where we're at today. Okay, we have seven four. We're gonna go back and forth just to verify. Okay, rainwater. Rainwater's holding at seven four. Seven three. Okay. Commercial lava rock. Go to seven eight. Okay. Commercial lava rock in rainwater. Well, there's a seven nine. It's a seven eight, seven nine. Bulk lava rock. Interestingly, the bulk lava rock, the water is actually clearer. Seven six, seven seven. Seven seven, in bulk with tap. Okay, rainwater bulk lava rock. We got a seven five. So no adjustment with the bulk lava rock. We have a 7.4 in the rainwater, so I'm gonna say that the commercial lava rock does not affect pH. We had a 7.778, and it's been about 20 hours or so, so 7.9. That's not significant when we started at about 7.8 anyways. And we're still reading seven nine on the straight tap. In fact, we got an even, we can get an eight in here. Inconclusive. I'm gonna say lava rock does not affect pH, whether it's bulk or commercial. So unless it's something that designed for a fireplace or something, the bulk stuff for yard is does not affect pH, and that's where we're at. Seven 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 six on the rainwater. So yeah, we're really we're not not more than about a point one point two at best.
There we go, folks. That's the results of our pH test with lava rock in both rain and top water with a starting pH of 7.5 in the rain and 7.9 in the tap. Uh, negligible differences at all with the lava rock in both bulk and commercial versus straight untouched water for a 20 hour period. All right, that's our last and final test. It's been one week since we've started the media in here. We've got the tap water, rainwater buckets. We got the averaging 7.879 on these, averaging 7.5 on these. Water, commercial lava rock, bulk lava rock. Let's see what we got. We got a solid 7.5 on the tap water that's just been sitting. We got a 7.8 on the commercial lava rock, 7.9. Maybe it does bring it up a bit. Or at least it keeps it up. Bulk is at 7.6. Yeah, 7.6 on the bulk. So 7.5 on the bulk with the rainwater. Here's what's interesting. Commercial, 7.5 in rainwater. It hasn't changed. It's almost as though it has a reaction with the tap water. 7.7. 7. 7, 8. And the water's just shy of 70 degrees. 7.6 is all we're getting out of that. Rainwater's at 7.5 hasn't changed so tap water with nothing added has dropped to 7.6 at best 7.7 7. so tap water hasn't changed come down a whole lot on its own yeah again we're getting 7.8 on the commercial lava rock we're getting 7.7 7 on the bulk with the tap water We're getting 7.6 on bulk with rainwater. <clears throat> and we got 7.5 on commercial with rainwater, 7.6. Yeah, negligible after a week. That's all we got for you folks. So hope you've enjoyed this little brief test and uh, help somebody out, out there.